Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make two very easy buttonholes using no organic materials but um, everyday things that you can find around the house. So little craft bits and pieces. So this is very cheap, very DIY, um, nice and fun. I'm going to make one that's colorful and one that is more rustic or more earthy um, in nature. So I'm going to run you through the elements that you need. Uh, this is just a basic guideline so you can scratch around the house for anything that um, is either similar or that suits your fancy. So I'm just going to run you through the elements that you need and then I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, I found some colorful feathers and some ribbon to match around the house. This is going to be for the colorful one. Then I found some old leaves and uh, green for our earthy one. Um, you need a pair of scissors, glue and some florist tape. Florist tape um, you can get at any florist or nursery. Um, it just makes it easier to tie the, to keep all your elements together. And then just very um, nothing fancy pins. Okay, that's just to pin it on. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make the organic one. It's very simple. Okay, here is what you do. Pick out, I took two feathers feathers, two leaves, not feathers, size them up about, you see that one is big and one is small just to create a bit of a dimension going, okay taking my green ribbon and usually what I do when I make button, button holes is I create a, let's call it a canvas, um, I use the ribbon and depending on how long you want it, I'm going to show you, I folded it over, folded it over, and I will cut it at an angle, this will then serve as my canvas, you'll see I'll do the same with the colourful one, now just to make sure that both edges are equally there we go, so that's to make sure that the back part of the ribbon is longer than the front one so that it does stick out. Okay, that now placed in front of you. I then take a bit of florist wire. This is just going to gather the two legs of the ribbon together. Again, what I do is I make sure that the back part does stick out from the bottom. Okay. What I do now is I wrap the florist wire. Don't worry, florist wire is not very sticky, but as soon as it touches itself again, it does stick. Okay. Makes a very nice color color texture specifically now with this buttonhole. Okay, nice and neat. Bring the two legs together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is use my clear glue and drop a tiny bit on the florist tape. There you go. Make sure you don't spill on your tablecloth. Okay, I will take the bigger leaf first and then I'll position it onto the, the drop of glue. You will see the glue come through, don't worry, that's why we have a second leaf. We position that one on neatly so that you can definitely see there are two leaves, not just give it a good dab. The glue again, it will come through but it looks very neat now with the two layered. And you leave that to dry before you pin it on, before you use it. And there you have it. There's your organic one. You use a pin to pin it on onto the 
to your jacket. We're going to move on now to the colourful one. Okay. Elements you're going to be using are feathers and ribbon that match colour. Okay, let me just show you what the end product is going to look like. Very funky, very colourful. So if organic is not your style, let's have some fun. Now the same is what we did with the, the green ribbon is we're going to measure with your eye. create I call it a canvas but I suppose you can call it a spine as well but basically the yeah the backdrop of what you'll be working from again cut um, the edges at an angle just to make it neat move the pieces away there you go okay with this one Again, I'll use the florist wire. Don't worry that it's green and that it does not go with the color because we're going to hide the florist wire. Florist wire, florist tape. Sorry about that. Keep on putting it around till it's gathered nice and neat. There you go. All the while I was making sure that the back ribbon shows underneath the shorter front one okay now with this now as your canvas or spine however you want to see it and then take my feathers and start playing around with the texture first position then before I stick them on so there's no glue here involved yet I'm just deciding how I want to position them because I'm going to ta uh, tape it on with the florist tape again so play around until you are happy with your positioning before you use any tape or glue because then you can't go back to fix okay so take your time in styling I think that will do a piece of florist tape then again don't worry about the green I'm going to show you how to hide the green in a bit this is just to gather your feathers together so I'm just going to be positioning them again okay now with my index finger and my thumb like that I keep all of it together and then with my other hand I work the tape around around all the elements. Have patience with the green. I know it's an eyesore. We'll hide it in a in a minute. some pressure on there just to make sure that the florist tape sticks there you go okay now to hide this green I'm going to cut a small piece of the same ribbon you can use another color that matches matches this but I'm just going to use the purple it's very nice and rounded off then get my glue ready I'm taking the lid off What I'm going to do now is I hide the green florist tape by covering it with the ribbon and then just catching the loose bit with some clear glue. Close this up. Here you're going to have to apply some pressure make sure the glue sets in and there you have it 
trendy and colorful buttonhole just like the organic one you use it very simple um, sewing pin to pin it onto the side of your jacket make sure that the the pin is pinned nice and safe so there you go that's the pins that you can use to pin them onto the jacket thank you i hope you enjoy having fun looking around the home for some things and gaan opbouw okay as ek dit en gaan aankyk na die oe want wat jy gewoonlik doen jy ek is dit thank you en dan kyk dan kyk oe nee waar nie dit het my gevat ek het amper 6 maande om te leer om te 